Hello and welcome back to the assignment. I've asked to create a keyboard interpreter, so imp I've implemented the key listener and I've added two um, buffer like things. One is the actual key state memory, which will only be signed up at the start of each operation, and I've created a key ID to key. As we got a lot of keys, I created a byte-sized array which maps each of the buttons, like this, the actual key 1, 2, 3, Q, W, etc., to the co corresponding index in the actual key buffer. And all other states will be set to minus 1. So <coughs> I've override the key press state and the key released. I didn't implement key typed as well, I don't really need it. So first of all I check if the key equals or doesn't equal minus one, so we know the user pressed an actual keypad input. And then I set it to zero as it's been released. And if it's pressed, I set it to one. It's <laughs> really simple. And I've added a function to get the key buffer. And um, I got a function here called set key buffer in the chip. Ooh which will copy the values of the key buffer into the actual memory of the chip 8. And in the main thread it will use that function before each run and well that basically is the entire thing. So I don't think it was too hard to implement it's just a bit tricky to uh, work around the fact that not all key presses sh should be registered for uh, chip 8. But with the hint I gave to use the character values, it should have should not have been all that hard. So I'll see you guys next Friday.